Welcome back everyone to the channel. In this session, I will be explaining you how you can create MS forms and link the data with Power BI. So as in to pass the form, uh, form data, MS forms data to Power BI, we will be using Power Automation as a glue. So which will be taking care of passing the responses from MS form to Power BI and there in Power BI we will be creating some reports. So the connector which we are going to use is the stream live connector with the Power BI so that the, the Power BI reports can be refreshed at the uh, runtime. So to start with I will just create one new form. So this form I am just naming that as a manager survey. So let's see in manager survey I will be choosing first question as is your manager is helpful and I can choose yes and no option maybe and I'll add another question and that question will be again a question and I'll write is your manager promotes innovation in option you can choose yes no I can add one more question let's say that's again a choice is your manager a boss or a leader boss leader and then you can just click outside so that if this form this entire form can be saved so now we have the form created now as a next step we'll just go to the power bi so you can log in uh, from for the web version of Power BI and also uh, we can also log in with the desktop version. That's fine. So after login, you can go to your workspace. I'm choosing my work workspace. Under new, I'll be adding one streaming data set. So why this is being used is uh, is being used to create a real time data. It's it's keep on making that connection and that data can be refreshed at the runtime so that you can see the reports dynamically. So I'm just choosing that new streaming data set for this option I'll be choosing API because this uh, raw API uh, payload we'll be using will be passing into the power automate so I'm choosing API under next now you can name this so I'm naming it as manager survey it's a, it's a data set name and under the question you would be putting all the questions which you have created for your manager service so I'm just putting question just copying it and pasting it it was a text and again I am going to question number two copying the question and then pasting the question so in data type you can see text number date time so you don't have any anything related to choice so you can keep it text so don't worry about that it will take care of it smart enough now going to the third question copying it and then pasting it so now you can see under beneath it you can see a raw payload is being created so once you click create it will give you a raw CUR and partial so these are payload uh, which which in turn we are going to use in power automate so I'm copying it I'm just saving it for now because the third is step is to go to the power, uh, power automate so I'm just I've just logged into my flow and under this flow, I'll be creating one instant flow, flow from blank. I'll name it as manager survey. And for now, I'll just skip because MS form connector is not available. So I'll just skip and it will let me to go into the uh, flow directly. And under the MS form trigger, when I click on when a new response submitted so this is the trigger which will be available for me so I'm now picking a form so it's giving me two options manager survey because I was already having one uh, manager survey created prior to this demo so I'll choose the latest one now I'll go to the manager uh, next step and in the next step I'll just find out get response list so here I'm getting get response in details and here I'll be again choosing my form and I'll choose the 
list of responses. So as the next step, I'll be using the Power BI connector. So you can see I'm just selecting Power BI. So it gives me option add a row to data set. So we'll be capturing the responses and passing it to Power BI. So I'll be uh, selecting this add rows to a data set. So I'm selecting my workspace. So it was under my workspace. And the data set is my survey, manager survey. And on the table, we have to select real time table. Now we have to pass the payload. So as I said, payload I have copied in previous tab. So payload is just a plain JSON, which is having my this uh, question and the sample response. So I need to change this response dynamically. So I'll be just removing the predefined sample response from Power BI and just add up my fields. So I can just go down over here. So is your manager helpful? I can select the field corresponding to it. Yeah. So is your manager helpful? Under the ISO manager promotes innovation. I'm selecting uh, the, the response ISO manager promotes innovation and ISO manager boss leader. So I'm selecting this response. So now we are pretty much okay with this flow. I'm saving it. So it's quite ready. Just a three step when a form is submitted, we need to capture the form data, a form response, and then pass that to as a rows into our a new stream data set. So that's it. So I'll just go back to my form. I can run that in preview and come can submit the data. So before submitting the data, I'll just go back to my Power BI. As you can see, manager surveys created a manager surveys which we created in step two. When I click on this, I don't get any option for create report, but I have to create a report. What I'll do, I'll just add added this. And there is one option historic data analysis. So I have to enable it, turn it on. And when I say done, it should now start giving me that option create report. So I'm, I'm just creating one report. Now I can use the data which uh, was submitted in forms to create some dashboard. I have my fields over there, real time data. So these all are questions. So I'll just drag this question first question which is a your manager a boss or leader and I'll change that to a pie chart and under the visualization you can see there is option legion details values so what sort of value I would like to have so I would like to see the number of responses for different answers so I'll just drag this field to values so that it can start giving me the data so right now it's blank so I'm not getting any data but I'll just keep on adding so I'll just create one uh, I'll just create one donut chart for my is your manager is helpful and under under value field I'll drag this field so that it can do the counting for me. So now I have one pie chart, one donut chart and uh, let's say I'll draw one uh, uh, let's say one vertical chart not here. So I'll just track my third question and for this I'll choose the vertical chart and under the value I'll drop this question so that it can do a counting on it. So now I'm pretty much okay with my report. It's just a basic report. I can have the filters. I can apply the drill down things, uh, the, the various option which a Power BI gives. So I'm just saving it, giving it a name, manager survey report. So I'm pretty much there. Now I can go to my preview and can submit few answers to it. So is your manager helpful? Yes. Yes. My, my manager promotes innovations. He is a true leader. So I'm just submitting it. Yes. Okay. I can submit another response so that I, I can have uh, multiple things in my chart to showcase. Let's say I'm submitting the other response and quickly submitting one more so now I have few data available so I'll just uh, see whether my flow ran or not so it did run 16 seconds ago it submitted three stuff stuff uh, items so I'll just go to my report and refresh 
we have our report created. So this is the report, my manager, a boss or a leader, this is for my manager helpful or not, and this for the other stuff, the promotion innovation. So this is how we can create the report uh, by just uh, tracking the data from forms and using a glue that is Power Automate in between and uh, we can create a real-time report. So this Power BI real-time stream uh, data set can be used with uh, multiple other options for other practical scenarios. For example, uh, you, are, you are managing your data source as an as a SharePoint list where you would like to keep the data entered by your customers and then at the back end the real-time reports gets, gets generated with the SharePoint list. So that is also possible. I mean, it, you can think of many practical scenarios how it can be used. But right now, I have just demonstrated this with MS Form, one in between Power Automate and saving the reports. And obviously, like going forward, you can create the uh, intuitive dashboards using using your this stuff, these these report stuff. You can create a new dashboard. So let let me quickly create it. Manager Survey Dashboard. And you can just uh, pin it, and this the, the, the dashboard would be showing you like this. So you under your workspace, you will be seeing three components: manage survey dashboard, manage survey, and manage survey report. So I hope uh, this could be useful for you to building out the application for your organization. If you like it, you can drop your comments and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you.